Hello and welcome everybody to another Forged in Ire video. So, I had dropped a little hint that I was going to put together a different playlist. So, I'm still waiting on the parts for the uh, hydraulic press. So, what do you do in the meantime? So, I'm going to put together a few videos in this playlist. And they're going to be me making about $200 worth of tools out of a rusty crowbar that I found. However, you could always just go out and purchase one and then utilize that to make the tools that you want. So, I found mine in the house that we moved into, you know, a while ago and just kind of set it off to the side, but uh, that's good steel. So, I'm using what I'm using, but anybody else could go and grab a crowbar and, you know, purchase one and then, you know, cannibalize it for whatever tools you might want. So, this playlist is going to be about me breaking it down, working it into tools that I actually need, but uh, don't want to don't want to purchase. And if I've got good steel, why not? So, hope you guys enjoy. Um, it's not quite a tutorial. It's just a oh, oh, by the way, you can do this to you know if you're trying to start a forge or working in a blacksmith shop and you need a certain tool, you make it. So, hope you guys enjoy. All right, let's get into it. So I had this uh, crowbar, and I decided that I'm going to make some tools out of it. First, I cut off the end, the pry bar end. I'm going to turn this into a hot cut hardy. cut out and anybody who's wondering what this is well, this is going to be one of the other tools that we're making it's going to end up being a punch but for now we'll set this aside we're going to grind this down to size their coffee. I, pro I promise, he's almost done. He's almost done. Okay.
so this is the hot cut hardy she's finally done temper cycles done I'm not going to bevel another edge on this because it's actually pretty pretty good since it's gonna be cutting hot steel I don't want a blade edge geometry I just want it to be you know enough to pierce and yeah I went with a half inch shank because that's the anvil that I want to put it in but I've also got a one inch shank and if you're making one of these you can always grind the uh, dimensions of the shank down to fit whatever anvil you're working with but yeah it's done I'm happy with it hey guys thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed it um, I know I had fun making it so like comment share subscribe uh, the likes really help the channel can't say it enough so um, everybody be safe out there happy forging